Hello, hello, my dear students. How are you? Welcome back, Grade Six at Sunny Valley International School. Um, today, inshallah, we will revise three point eight plant and animal cells. Plant and animal cells. Okay, let's start. What on earth are these? They look like jelly beans with attitude. They are so It's made from them. Well, I know. Why don't we build one and find out? OK, what do we need? Firstly, we need... a cell membrane. This holds the cell together. It also controls what goes into and out of the cell. The second ingredient is cytoplasm. This fills up most of the cell. So what's inside the cytoplasm? Well, they're small enzymes which prompt chemical reactions within the cell. Is that it? Don't we need anything else to make a cell? Well, there's one more really important ingredient. And that's a nucleus. controls what the cell does. So we've got three ingredients then. A nucleus, cell membrane and cytoplasm. Yes, except for a red blood cell, which doesn't have a nucleus. OK, so what about plant cells then? Well, they also have a nucleus, cytoplasm and cell membrane. But they also have some extra features too. Look, I'll show you. Let's change our animal cell into a plant cell. OK. The first extra is a large sac called a vacuole. Mm. This contains the cell sap. The second extra is a strong cell wall made of cellulose. What does that do? This helps the cell to keep a rigid shape. And the third extra... Green jelly beans? No. Pop them in. They're chloroplasts. So what are they for then? They contain a green substance called chlorophyll, which enables a plant to make its own food. OK, so the difference between a plant and animal cell is that a plant cell has a vacuole, cell wall and chloroplasts, as well as a nucleus, cytoplasm and cell membrane. Yes, exactly. Now let's take a closer look at this cell membrane. Hey look, it's got little openings. Yes, they're doorways which allow substances to get into and out of the cell by a process called diffusion. What's diffusion? Well, diffusion is a movement of a substance from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Look at those particles there. There are lots of them moving around the outside of the cell, but only a few inside the cell. This means that they are diffusing into the cell. OK. So what substances get into the cell? Well, nutrients like oxygen and glucose, because they have small molecules which get through the little openings. But substances like starch and proteins have larger molecules, which means they can't fit through. So the membrane's choosy about what gets into the cell? Yes, exactly. Examine the slide under a compound microscope. Observation. Large number of flat cells with irregular boundaries are seen. Each cell has a thin cell membrane. A distinct, deeply stained nucleus is seen in each cell. Space between the plasma membrane and the nucleus is filled with granular material called cytoplasm. There are no intercellular spaces between the cells. No cell wall is visible. Inference. The examination of material on the slide suggests that it is an animal cell because 
the cell wall and prominent vacuoles are not seen. Look at this figure. This animation about chloroplasts surrounding and revolving in cytoplasm of plant cell. All these green uh, uh, objects that revolve around large vacuole are chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are needed for doing photosynthesis. They absorb sunlight and convert light energy into chemical energy in the form of food substance like glucose in process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, okay? Now let's start our worksheet. Read the following paragraph and fill in the gaps with words from the box below. Each word may be used once, okay, once, more than once, or not at all. Here, all living things are made from space. Each cell uses energy from space to stay alive. It also uses space for growth and space, okay. Most plant cells can make their own nutrients using space. Animal cells need to absorb spaces from their surroundings. Look at the words in the box, respiration, photosynthesis, cells repair nutrients. Okay, again, all living things are made from, yes, from cells, good. Each cell uses energy from, from where you obtain energy, from which process you do to release energy. Yes, from respiration, to stay alive. Respiration means the cell burn glucose by using oxygen to release energy. Okay? Burn glucose to release energy by using oxygen. This is called respiration. It takes place inside all cells. It also uses what? For growth and the space. It also uses, the cell uses what? Uses nutrients. Nutrients like glucose, like proteins, like fat, for growth and repair of tissues. Most plant cells can make their own nutrients using, huh? most plant cells can make their own nutrients by their own nutrients using what? Using a process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, it uses light energy and to convert light energy into chemical energy in the form of glucose and amino acids. Animal cells need, animal cells need to absorb what? Absorb also nutrients from their surroundings. So here you can see nutrients repeated or mentioned twice, used twice in this passage, okay? Let's start question number two let's start question number two label the six parts of the plant cell shown below this plant cell the features shown indicate this, that the cell is a plant not an animal cell look letter a what is the name of this structure large organelle inside plant cell this is called nucleus. This is called nucleus. Nucleus found in all cells, okay, except xylem cells in plant and red blood cells in human red blood cells. No nucleus in human red blood cells. What's the function of nucleus? Nucleus contains chromosomes, contains DNA, contains genes responsible for all characters you inherited from your parents okay this is nucleus contain genes contain genes okay letter b vacuole this cupboard like catching cupboard at home okay where water and the other chemicals stored inside this vacuole large vacuole in most plant cells for storage water and excess salts sugar pigments or colors inside 
vacuole. Letter C, cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is the site of chemical reactions. The site of all chemical reactions happens to stay the cell alive. All chemical reactions takes place inside cytoplasm. Also, cytoplasm holds organelles inside, holds structures inside the cell. Okay. Letter D. Chloroplast. Chloroplast. Okay. This contain chlorophyll green pigment that absorb light energy from the sun and convert this light energy into chemical energy in the form of foodstuffs like glucose in process called photosynthesis letter E the inner line here inner line this cell membrane cell membrane okay this control what enters and what exit the cell what enters and what exits the cell it allows certain useful substance to pass through and they prevent others to enter the cell from inside. This controlling what enters and what exit from the cell, the cell membrane. What about the other or outer line, this cell wall, cell wall made of cellulose. This supports the plant cell and gives its shape definite shape cell wall made of cellulose okay now look please to question number three here draw lines to match each cell component on the left to its rule in the cell on the right look cell component cell membrane chloroplast nucleus cell wall and cytoplasm cell membrane huh? cell membrane sure controls what enters or leaves the cell so the line here by ruler by ruler like this controls what enters or leaves the cell chloroplast absorbs light and allows photosynthesis to take place here absorbs absorbs what light energy and allows the plant cell to photosynthesize. Here, nucleus. Nucleus, what's the importance of nucleus? It is the manager of the cell. It controls the activities of the cell. Control growth, cell division, okay? By its genes inside. Controls the activities of the cell. Cell wall, huh? cell wall, Stop cell bursting when its vacuole fills with water. When the vacuole completely filled with water, it breasts against the cytoplasm and the breast against the wall. And this wall prevents the cell from bursting, from damage by bursting. This cell wall supports the plant cell. Okay? And they prevent bursting when its vacuole fills with water. Last one, cytoplasm. Uh, cytoplasm where most chemical reactions takes place most not all most uh, chemical reactions takes place or take place thank you meet you next video inshallah good luck and bye bye